When engineers are looking at a project, they'll often do a cost-benefit analysis. They'll look at the cost of the project, and then they'll look at the benefits, and they'll compare the two. In order to do a one-to-one -one comparison, they put them in terms of dollars. This makes a lot of sense. We all grasp it. But when we look deeply at what is being turned into dollars, it becomes a little shocking. Engineers will take small increments of saved time and convert that into large sums of money in order to justify a project. They'll say, for example, that uh, if we do this extra lane on the street, uh, that we will save drivers 30 seconds a day in their commute. Well, if there's 20,000 people, that 20,000 trips on that street every day, we can take 30 seconds times 20,000 times 365 days in a year times 50 years that we think this extra lane will be there. And all of a sudden, at $25 an hour, we have lots and lots of saved time. Yet, we don't pay with streets with saved time. We don't uh, take 30 seconds of time and all of a sudden become 30 seconds more efficient in our life. That's not how the real world works. These calculations are really helpful in comparing apples to apples on projects, but they're not really helpful in deciding what projects have enough benefits to justify doing them. We need to completely rethink the way we do cost-benefit analysis. Engineers, again, know that these don't represent reality, but they're comfortable for them because they justify spending more money on transportation. I'm Chuck Marone, and that is my confession.